Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to get YouTube videos onto your iPod. It's really easy, and it's free, and it's safe. So, first of all, what you're going to want to do is go start and open up an Internet Explorer page. Now, we're just going to get the uh, program that you need to download the videos. For so, off of YouTube, you're going to go to www. Dot T U B E S U C K E R dot C O M that's tubesucker dot com and it's going to bring us to a website called newrad dot com that's fine that is what we want it to do so over here on the right you're going to see feature soft software products and go to the first one that says tubesucker YouTube video downloader so we'll click that <coughs> it's going to bring you to this page there's going to be a couple uh, paragraphs here and then you'll see downloaded here right there and just click the link beside it and it should all start to download it's going to come up like this, it'll ask you to run just click run and just keep saying ok and accepting and then agreeing all the terms it should set itself up and install itself properly after it's all done and downloaded you're going to find two sh uh, uh, shortcuts added to your desktop go to the one with the black arrow pointing down Open that one up. And you're going to get this loading screen. Now, sometimes if you've got XP or an older version of Microsoft uh, Windows, it takes a long time to keep stuck to load. But usually, if you've got Vista uh, or something, it moves a little faster. And it's going to bring you to this page. And the address bar is already filled in for you. It's youtube.com, so I have to use this Go. It's going to bring you to uh, the YouTube homepage. Now you can search any video you want. So we're going to go Smosh. Okay, Smosh channel. Let's get their latest video. Let's get uh, this one right here. And now up here in the address bar, sometimes you're going to get a big, huge, stretched out link uh, with saying Google and a whole bunch of other stuff. And when you go down, when you go to download it with this button right here, download this video, it's not going to work because uh, it is going to say that uh, the, the, the URL is invalid. So sometimes what you have to do is open up another Internet Explorer page, not a TubeSucker page, but an Internet Explorer page, and find that video uh, on YouTube and get the uh, URL and copy and paste it to the URL address box right here. But with this video, luckily, it's uh, all ready to go, and there's not going to be a problem. So we're going to hit download this video. Now, depending on the size of the video it's, and the speed of your computer, it may take a little longer for the download. So we're just going to use the video that I've already got here. Uh, let's pick, we're just going to pick uh, this video, and then we're going to hit converter. But we hit play to access this, by the way. Sure, you will decide download progress, and then you're going to have a list of all your videos on your computer here. Just select the one you want and then hit converter, which is a button over to the side to the right hand side. It's going to bring you to page of this with list of your videos again, and you're going to pick the video that you want to convert, and so just click that. And make sure this is the most important part that you click MP4 over on all these like little circles here. Make sure you select MP4 and in brackets it says iPod, iPhone, and then you hit convert files. Now, also depending on the size of the video, I may take longer to convert, so it's converted. And now we're going to just get rid of TubeSucker here, and we're going to actually open up iTunes now. All right, so once we've got iTunes open here, we're just going to go to File up in the left-hand corner and Add File to Library. And what you're going to want to go do is go to Videos the video folder, and you're going to select the converted, which was added automatically by TubeSucker for you. And you're going to click that, and then you're going to find the video that you chose to convert. So, and then after you select the video, you hit open, and it'll add it right to your library, and then when you plug your iPod in, uh, just sync it, and then you should get the video on your iPod, and it should work properly. So, that's all you need to do. It's really cool. You can get all your favorites on your iPod. So thanks for watching guys, this is Andy Warhol, goodbye.